Hi, my name is Steve Ghost, and today we're going to do a fun and easy project, which is starting seeds. Now it's the middle of March, and this is the greatest time to start seeds because it allows you to grow on a plant that's a good size when it's safe to plant things outside, which is in our neck of the woods, anyway, during the month of May. So basically, starting early gives you time to develop a good sized plant, which has a better start when you put it out of doors. Now the setups are very basic. Um, a very commonly available set is a tray that holds water, in this case black plastic, 11 by 22 inches, and a clear dome that goes on top. The idea is that it maintains humidity and prevents the loss of moisture so that seeds don't dry out before they have a chance to germinate. And basically, there's any number of things. You can use peat pellets. Today we're going to plant using peat pots. And uh, there's also cell inserts, like the cell packs you see available for sale. And there's actually kits that come pre-done with all those cells. So let me just put our dome aside, and I'm going to prepare our soil. So peat pots are wonderful. Now these are made out of peat moss and cellulose fiber. And the whole idea is that you can plant this into the ground without disturbing the roots. And that's very important for a lot of plants that are very testy about being transplanted. In other words, if you don't handle them carefully, you can kill them. That's why this is a beautiful thing. Once the plant hits a certain point, the roots simply grow out through the walls and the drainage hole of our little pot, and this biodegrades underground, just like compost. Anyway, let's set out a couple of peat pots, and I'm gonna get my mix ready to go. Now there's all sorts of brands of seed starting mix available in the market and they all have a few things in common. Now this is from the Hoffman Company and this is a very good quality product. And what makes a good seed starting mix is that it drains freely and yet retains a good amount of moisture and is sterilized. The whole idea, since seedlings are so delicate, is that if you don't sterilize the soil, you have a good chance of having a problem called damping off, which is a fungal infection. Remember, we're dealing with a lot of moisture and we have lots of small, delicate, fragile little seedlings, which are very susceptible to infection. With this, basically there are no pathogens, no disease-causing organisms in the mix. That way you're off to a clean start. All right, so now, as I always do, I'm gonna, this is a bigger size of the same product. Let me just put this off to the side. And, as is my preference, I like to pre-moisten my potting mix. So just add a little bit of water, and we're gonna mix this around a little bit. And you can see this is a nice, rich mix. All right, very good. So now, basically, I'm going to fill, now I'm pressing this gently with my hand. Now I don't want it filled all the way up to the rim, so I'm gonna take a little bit out and just gently press it. Let's just set up a few of these to throw some seeds in. All right, here's a quick half dozen. Now let's see, I think we're gonna plant some basil. Basil is amazingly popular and this is one of those that hates the cold, so you wanna get it an early start before you put it out. So let's see, where's my pencil? Now I'm using my high-tech tool for seed planting, which I'm just making a small hole in the center of the mix. Not too deep. Remember, as a general rule, the larger the seed, the more deeply you plant it. Basil seeds, let me just move that into your view, are actually fairly tiny. So these, they don't want to go too deeply. In fact, many small seeds, smaller than this mostly, actually need some light to germinate. Now if you see, I'm just sprinkling a couple seeds, and that means more than one. You don't have to put in a thousand, but you want to put in a few seeds to make sure that at least one germinates, because you don't always get 100% germination. I'm going to put the rest back in the packet, no reason to waste them, you can use them again later. And now if you see what I'm doing, I'm just putting the soil back in place, just very gently, 
The idea is to cover the seeds lightly. I'm probably covering these with about a quarter inch of thy potting mix. Okay, cover it over. And again, I don't want these full all the way up to the rim, so I'm gonna give them just a gentle pressing. The idea is we're gonna remove any major air spaces and make sure that the mix is firmly in contact with the soil. And here we go. You know I wanna make a quick aside. Most seeds are ready to go, just plant them and they grow. Things like this basil should be up within about 10 days. It varies with the temperature and so forth. If you have a very warm home or you're growing in a greenhouse, they'll come up that much more quickly. But in the home, average room temperature is just fine. Although, you know, many plants do benefit from a little additional heat. And so I wanted to show you one thing. Underneath my tray is a nice little device. This is a seedling heating mat. Basically, it's a standard plug, plug in the wall. And electrically, electrically, I should say, this generates just enough heat, usually mid-upper 70s, to facilitate and speed up plant germination. So put this back in place. See, this is the brand that we carry, seedling heat mat. These come in various sizes. This one is designed to accommodate one standard tray, which is basically 11 inches by 22 inches, and does a terrific job. Now, another thing sometimes you need to do with seeds, some are very slow to germinate. Now, while the heating helps, there are lots of other little tricks you can do. Now, I've grabbed a packet of Morning Glory seeds because they're a very familiar example of something that really often needs a little help to germinate. Now, these can be very slow to germinate if you don't treat the seed. And that means sometimes you don't get 100% germination just because it takes so long, you lose a seed or two along the way. So what I'm gonna do is something we call scarification. Now, if you can see the steam, I've drawn hot water, and let's see, that's still pretty hot. But basically, draw hot water. If it's hot enough to burn your finger, leave it set for about a minute because that's too hot. And then of the seeds and sprinkle them in. Basically, I'm not gonna do it this time around, but just set that here. Seeds in the hot water, leave them overnight, and by the next morning, the seeds will have about tripled in size and the seed coat will have shattered. The good news with that too is that instead of taking a few weeks to germinate, it usually takes only a few days when the seeds are treated. All right, well, let's continue. Uh, just to finish up, we've got our seeds planted, our basil, and the next thing that you wanna do, now since these are all the same thing, I think I'm just gonna fill out one label. And we're gonna take our name and it's Basil Custom Blend. So I'll put the name, whoops, on my tag. In this case, I'm just using a pencil, and this is a wooden tag. And this is Custom Blend. And we're going to put the date. Whoops, I keep losing my point. That way, when you put the date on the tag, you can keep track of when it was planted, and if you think that they're taking over long to germinate, you can check your date and see if maybe your seeds were something might be amiss. Anyway, we just put a little water on these. To water them in again, the mix is pre-moistened. Just water gently. Remember, you don't want to disturb the seeds too much. And actually, a good trick, if you look at this, is you can actually just water them from the bottom. Remember, this tray is designed to hold water. I've got about a half an inch of water in here now. And if I leave this sit for about an hour, it will draw up water. You'll see the sides of the peat pot will become dark and the mix will be darker and you can feel quite moist. Basically, that's it. I'm gonna put down my watering can and move my tag. And we're gonna put our dome right in place. And basically, there you have it, all set to go.